Hey everybody, Justin Greer here, founder and lead developer of WP OAuth Server. In this video, I'm going to explain how to set up single sign-on between two WordPress sites. Now that might sound complicated, but it's not. I promise it is not that complicated. So you might ask, why would you set up single sign-on between two WordPress sites that you, you manage? Um, and uh, so let's say that you have a WordPress site, you have a main WordPress site, or WordPress site, sorry, that uh, you have 10,000 users on it. Maybe it's a blog, um, maybe it is a membership site. And uh, for whatever reason, you need to fire up like another, you have another project you wanna do, um, but it, you don't wanna mess with your main site. So a lot of companies, what they do is they create like these small satellite sites. Um, and you know, Microsoft is really big on this. Microsoft does this a lot. You know, where they have their Microsoft.com, but then they also have like these other spin-off sites for maybe a product or maybe an internal service. And what they do is they use their, uh, their users from the main site uh, and they use them in these satellite sites. Um, and this is done through like a single sign-on process. So that is, that is kind of like why you would want to create single sign-on between two WordPress sites. So again, this is something that Google and Facebook already offer kind of in their login buttons, but it's a, it's slightly different in the sense that the users that you are allowing to do single sign-on come from a WordPress site and not necessarily from their Google or their Facebook page. So to do this, I have my screen here. To do this, we're gonna need uh, to download a copy of WP OAuth Server. And you can use the free version at wordpress.org. That'll do uh, in this demonstration. However, if you would like support for other devices like mobile phone, desktop applications, and different type of user authentication, then you're going to do, sorry, you're going to need to purchase the pro version of WP OAuth server. And that includes um, ticket support, primary support, live chat support. Uh, what else we got? and unlimited devices, because uh, some of these grant types are not authorized in the free version. But in this demonstration, it is authorized. So um, go ahead, grab a copy of WP OAuth Server, and uh, you're going to need, uh, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need to download the simple single sign-on plugin. It, it, it's complimentary, complimentary to this uh, WP all server. It's actually a plugin that we built specifically to work and connect to a WordPress website that has work uh, WP all server installed on it. And let's see if we can't find that too. Sorry, I should have been uh, had this prepped and ready for you guys. So we're just going to head over to WordPress. Click on plugins and we're going to do what are we going to do single sign on and here you go right now it's labeled OAuth client single sign on and this is the plugin that we're going to download so this plugin again is made by uh, my company and it's made specifically to work with WP OAuth server so go ahead and download that on the client site actually I kind of got ahead of myself and I apologize um, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to, now that, yeah, we're going to, oh, it's not even in here. There we go. Sorry, I was just on the wrong screen. So once you have WordPress or WP OAuth server installed, we're going to head over here to uh, the WP OAuth server. And what we need to do is we need to create a client um, for our satellite site that we've created. So by creating a client, what we're doing is we're creating a client ID and client secret that we can use on our other site to connect. So to do this, we just click on the add new client and we're gonna give our client a name and let's call it our event site. So this is really um, just a name for the user, for you to recognize what you're doing here or recognize the client on your WordPress site. So for right now, we're gonna leave redirect URL open. And uh, that's it. And we're just going to, all default settings, we're just gonna click create client. So once it's created, you're gonna see a client ID and client secret. This is something that we're going to need when we set up our client on the satellite site. So 
I'm gonna hop over here to my great blog, which is happens to be the uh, satellite site, the small site that I want my users from my main site to be able to log into with their credentials from uh, the main site here. So if we go to settings and down to single sign-on, you're going to see a window here for, uh, it has two steps. It has one, the first step here is setup. We're going to take note of the uh, redirect URI right here. So we're just going to take that and we're going to hop back over to our client. And let's put that right back into there. And we're going to update the client. So now we have the client on the WP OAuth server sides or the server side um, set up. We just need to configure our single sign on client for our satellite site. So let's just go ahead and we're going to take our client ID. We're going to hop on down to configuration two. Now I already had this kind of set up, so I'm just going to uh, walk through this again. I'm going to add the client ID in the client ID area, and I'm going to hop back over here. I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste that client secret into the client secret here. Now the OAuth server URL, in my case, you probably can't see it. Um, there we go just bring it on down here is wordpress.local because I'm working locally on my computer so basically just take that URL and we're just going to copy it well we're going to copy it right in here and we're going to click save changes so now that the settings are saved just click down here on configuration make sure the settings are in and we're going to log out and you're gonna notice that there is a single sign-on button now on the login page of the client site. And we're gonna hop over here and I'm going to log out of my admin profile on the server side. And there you go. So, all right, here we go. So I'm going, I'm currently I'm on the client site. So I'm just going to click single sign-on and the process is gonna go over. So now we have a login box. So this, this login is actually the login of our main site. Um, and basically what this is, this is, is asking the user to authorize calls or authorize the request in the main site so we can use their information on the satellite site. So if we just click uh, login or enter the user information and click login, so we're going to be redirected. Now we're redirected back to the client site. So if you notice up here, wp-client.local is my satellite site. I'm going to scoot that back up there. And you'll notice that now I am logged in and it used my name of admin and it didn't make me an admin, but it used my name as an admin in this example. And so it created an account for me and it logged me in using my and brought over the information the username the first name last name and it created me or made me a subscriber here on the satellite site so that's how single sign-on works for this it's not truly overly complicated um, it's actually pretty simple once you get it and you you understand it and you understand the concepts of it so if you guys have any questions concerns comments uh, please shoot them over to us. You can hit me at my email at justin at dash 10 dot digital or you can swing over to wp-oauth.com and submit a support ticket. All right. Thanks, guys.